Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. We are here at Lasham Cove. I'm going to go that way in a bit. I want to talk to a few of these folks. Meh, 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 meh. So hurdy. Dude down was careless. Should not have gone walkies with weapons stored away in luggage. Very bad idea. Dude down forget that if weapon not always handy, reaction to sudden danger become very difficult. Friends should be careful too. Never know where enemies might lurk. Thanks to terrible mistake, Dudan failed to go meet partner again. This very depressing. Huh. Interesting. Okay, this is where I met this guy originally. He was here, and then he went off to that uh, camp over at Seagull Fell. Ah, are you still trying to scrounge up machine parts? I think I mentioned before, but there are silver and gold parts lying around. Don't forget, you'll need a special seeker device if you want to find gold parts. Right. Let's see. I have a lot of money and want to get up to 10,000 G spent. Let's see. A pawn mask, perhaps? Okay, these courtships haven't improved at all. Yeah. No joy on these. But that's okay. Hayes got her affinity node thingy mabobber. Go. Diligence and devotion. All right. No nonsense, Blade Kaida. I believe that naming something is one's way of giving meaning to it. I only wish I could name the rush of incredible feelings that have been welling up within me. Not to mention naming all the places and happenings that we come across in our adventures so that each and every one will stand as a reminder of the time I've spent with Lida. That's one of the themes of this DLC. Remembering things and being remembered. When I first met Kaida, I kind of thought it would be a real life changer for me. But nope, everything's still same old, same old. I'm still the same old hopeless crybaby who can't cope under pressure, at least. But you can't just wish for something to get better, can you? You have to make it happen yourself. That kind of really hit home for me. I don't know if I would say that's a theme of this, but what Kade has just said, yeah, that's definitely a theme of all of this. This is becoming addictive. All right, so aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. Over there at the ship is another side quest. I wonder if it'll allow me to activate it before I get... Oh, two more side quests. Bathane. His name pops up in the base game. There's a tower in the Moradain capital that's apparently named after him because he's some kind of important sniper let's see I am going to switch to Hugo put him up front
War with the Seans. Raids by Malos. I hope more Ardin can make it through. But I worry what would happen if we couldn't maintain our strength. We're supposed to be His Majesty's vanguard. In the face of this kind of threat, we ought to be looking for some fresh energy to bolster our defense. Huh? Where did you guys spring from? What? Why do we need to bolster our defense, you say? Surely that's obvious. One only has two choices in life, success through strength or weeping in weakness. Well, that's in the world the way it is right now, at least. So, if there's something I can do to make His Majesty a little stronger? What I mean to say is, I want to be a strong and effective soldier for the good of my homeland. And even if we're up against an opponent like Malus, I still want to do what I can. That's right, I could probably learn a thing or two from you guys. You look like you could handle yourselves. Maybe you'll do me the honor of giving me a bout? But don't hold back, no need to sugarcoat it, just come at me like it's the real thing. That's the sort of mindset that we'll need if we're going to have a hope of standing up to Aegis. I'm known as the best shot in the whole of the Imperial Army. Underestimate me at your peril. Here I come! Let's see what we have here. Okay. Perhaps we should beat a hasty retreat. Um... I was trying to... draw the weapon. And it brought me to the screen instead. Bah. that do exactly. That didn't go too badly. Okay, you're even stronger than you look. Such incredible power. I'm the best sniper in the Imperial Army, but you made light work of me. You've shown us all up. Well, you're a sniper, so you're supposed to fight from a distance, aren't you? You got right in our faces. It's not just your physical strength, either. It's the way you fight as Driver and Blade, that incredible synergy. I get the feeling your true strength lies in the connection that you have. You've shown me the way. From now on, I won't see myself as a lone wolf anymore, but as part of a larger whole. I'll think of my friends and all the Ardanian people and all the future generations. I'll make my goal in life to be someone who is loved and respected by my people. This battle has taught me what I really ought to be aiming for in life. I hardly have the words to thank you. Now that was some you JRPG stuff. Beat a guy up and he's enthused and... Oh, now I understand the true meaning of life and all that. <laughs> I vow to one day become the kind of soldier that others can look up to. My memory will stand as a monument to my efforts. Just you wait and see. He does succeed at that, at least to some degree. They you know, name a defensive tower after him. Bethane Tower, I think is what it's called, or maybe Tower of Bethane, something like that. Uh -huh. Looks like I can talk to Krogani. Maybe I've uh, gotten his quest done? I'm glad we could be of help. Farsighted Talisman. And critical up one, two of. Bethane lost the bout against Laura because of the strong bonds she shared with her teammates. He then vows to become a respected soldier. Okay. You lot fight in specialized roles, surely. Like, one's a defender, one's attacker, and one heals. The best attacker needs to be out front attacking the enemy until one of them goes down. That's not to say attackers should be reckless. The more you attack an enemy, the more aggro you're going to draw. That's the problem for an attacker. You need to moderate the attack and have the defense absorb some of the aggro. That's the iron law of combat. 
Well, of course, there's no need to tell you that. You managed to best me in combat, after all. You're a there are certain items that have particularly special effects. They're known as precious items. Though they can be special in different ways. Some are just extra powerful. Others have effects that last forever. What really ties them together is they're not easy to come by. You won't find them in ordinary shops. Only people with special knowledge, such as Lord Adam or Emperor Hugo, have the ability to craft them. He says to Hugo. Okay. Lost my comrades in the midst of battle when I least expected. If that happens to you, get your down friend and get to your down friend and lend them a hand. Keep the esprit de corps high, and you shouldn't have any problems keeping your party members standing. But if your team's lost the will to fight, sorry to say, but there's not much hope for you. And remember, a revived ally won't be back at full strength, so don't forget to lend him a hand. Just a couple of hints to keep you going. Take care of your friends, and they'll take care of you. Okay, and Macneth gets added to this list. Okay. All right. So you, looks like we need to talk to Krogane. And what about Mac Mac? Why does Mac Mac have something to say? How many of those Nopon drug barrels do we need to find? Hmm. Because I know that there's a lot more of them out there. Oh, a treasure trove. I tremble with excitement. There's a clear structure to this lock. Eek. Slow and steady. Lock picking level three. Wow. That's going to take a while, isn't it? Homesick mechanic Hassan. Hey there. What do you think of the state of the art Ardenian flagship? Pretty nifty, huh? The only downside is that the modern tech makes this mechanics cry. Every time I'm anchored in port, I'm always so busy with repairs. Haven't been home in such a long time. The longer you spend flying around all rest, the more you start to yearn for the taste of home. I tried to make a recipe my mother used to make from memory, but it didn't go too well. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have someone who can cook in your party, would you? If I tell you the recipe, do you think you could cook up some food from my hometown, Chilsane? Chilsanian Kasha. Excellent. Looking forward to some delicious home-cooked food. Mmm, I can taste it already. Okay... For such saps. So who's going to cook it then? Jin. Okay. Uh, Okay, no, I don't actually need to talk to Krogani. That symbol next to him in the menu... That doesn't mean that there's something to talk to him about. Just that I have an ongoing quest. Okay. Well then, let's see... We go to one of the campsites. Right. Where shall we head to next? Oh, Callie and Kelly are here. I know all sorts of stuff, like how the more drivers use their weapons, the stronger they get. Some start out with the power of fire or water too. My da told me it's how a driver chooses their how a driver chooses their weapon is important too. Tried to be a driver, but he couldn't do it. But he said he, it was enough for him to be me and my sister's Da. Isn't that cool? Our Da's the best. Hey, do you guys know about core chips? I do. They're not just something you carry around like a pretty stone. You can use them on blades weapons, too. Then they'll give them more power and sometimes even some special effects. Isn't that cool? Wish I could try using some. Huh. So, Jin's crafting. I know it'll be worth the wait. Ow. Fa. Where can I find weeping flower? Blast it. Okay, 
though. Now, let me see. Good. Pretty good, all things considered. Stitch by stitch. And careful now. Hmm. I haven't been able to make almost anything uh, from Haze. Time to get cooking. I'm kind of excited. Oh, I'm out of barbed tomatoes. Where did I find those? <sighs> Wait a second. Time Ascension to get waffles? I'm kinda excited. I found a creeping star pepper somewhere. Recharges arts by point one. Yeah, it's really not very good, but better than nothing i guess it tastes better than it looks probably wait till you see what i do from make. adam no i'm a little nervous to tell you the truth to make this for a little while it would appear I will challenge myself today okay and there's a chat maybe the report that Hugo received has some implications for us well it won't do us much good to stand here and let our imaginations run wild why don't we head to the bow strategy room and hear about it for ourselves? Yeah, I suppose. Any idea what it'll be about, Hayes? Me? Oh, well, I don't know, really. Perhaps the Nopon have finally declared war on the Turkin? No, that would be quite something. Wouldn't it just? I'm just picturing the carnage now, an empty field completely strewn with feathers. Well, whatever the that great big Dilipon's... Whenever that great big Dilipon's over, we should get over there and stuff ourselves a couple of mattresses. Heh. It's good to see you all have such sensitivity to the miseries of war. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Back to Lasham Cove. Shall we continue? Okay, so Krogani wants us to do two level two blade combos. How many have we actually done? Three. Hmm. I am very tempted to go crank that out, but no. I am done here. I am just declaring that. Thank you all for joining me here. I'm afraid I have important news that I need to impart to Adam. Oh, yes? It's about the militia. The who now? I've been gathering an army in Uriah. People who've lost homes, families. People who'll make a stand against Malos. Well, according to intelligence we received, they have departed from Uriah now. What? Why? Malos's whereabouts are still unclear. It seems that Uriah has conscripted them all. It's now a special regiment of the Orion self-defense forces. I thought I'd sorted this all out with the Orion King. At His Majesty's behest, we have ascertained the position of the moving troops. They are heading to Torna as we speak. We have established communications, so you can send word at any time. <sighs> 
When they get to Torna, tell them to go to a letter. Ugh. As you say. Laura? Hmm. I've never seen Adam like that before. He's gone off somewhere. Is it best to leave him alone, do you think? That's for you to decide. I'll go where you go. Right. No, he might need someone at a time like this. We have to go after him. Okay, we're down to Team Laura. With only Jin. Alrighty. Mithra and Hayes are chatting. Adam, didn't he go out to get some air? You're worried about him, right? You should go talk to him. Why can't you? Master Adam is a kind soul. To even consider making a place for the families and soldiers who have lost their homes shows great compassion. But I couldn't help noticing that he looked very pained. Okay. Ah, another treasure trove. Ah, come on. There we go. The suspense is killing me. Evasion focus. I think that means more evasion when you're on low HP. Straight laced diplomat Vent Horison. I'm Vent Horison, special envoy for more our day. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. To commemorate this auspicious meeting, allow me to inform you of something. Did you know that all driver weapons are furnished with elements? For example, weapons with the fire element are effective against monsters of the water element. Also, blades have a fixed element that represents their power. For example, take the crown jewels of Moradain. The Lady Bridget is fire and Aegean is water. Matching your weapon and blade elements to counter the monster's element is a key to clinching victory. Oh, and we have him on our list now. Adam's attendant, Milton. War Orphan, Mikhail. I was one. I couldn't read that since it was buried. Master Adam, we left the resistance there because we trusted the king. Oh, Laura, how can this be happening? Whoa, cool shit. <laughs> At present, it is unclear exactly why the King of Araya has acted the way he did regarding the Resistance. Let's hope it's just a simple misunderstanding. No matter the age, you must always be prepared, lest some conniving rat stabs you in the back. I'm not referring to anyone in particular, you understand, but it's a story you hear all too often. I'd advise you to tread very carefully. I sense that His Majesty is not quite himself of late. I cannot blame him considering the terrible events to which he has borne witness. Though he tries not to show it, I have come to understand the workings of his heart. Go you, Aegean. Special Inquisitor Vil Ethelmar. If the worst were to happen, my duty is to return Bridget and Aegean's core crystals to Morardane. Of course, I hope that's never necessary. We should talk to Adam, okay. Yeah. Have it your way. Okay, can't go that direction. Alright, let's see what Adam has to say.
That wasn't like you. Huh. You think so? Yes. I thought you always know what to do. You're never lost. I wish that really were the case. To tell the truth, I'm always worrying. Ever since I became Mithra's driver, anyway. It didn't seem that way at all. Power lends one an air of capability. Even more so when it comes to the Aegis. When we first met, we could have burnt you to pieces. Though fortunately, we avoided that thanks to Jin. Is that why you were away from the militia? As I am, I am not in full control of Mithra's power. Scores of soldiers could die by my hand. I was frightened. This cataclysm Malos caused, it's likely all because Questa Amalthus was unable to control him. And if that's true, then perhaps I too. I think she's well aware. Just not so comfortable saying it. That's your analysis. Well, I have been with Jin, the paragon of Torna, for 17 years. I can roughly tell how much of their strength the blade is using just by watching them. She's making sure you... No, she's holding herself back to make sure she doesn't go that way. Deep down, she's very kind. You think? That still means I'm just not man enough. Don't think that way. You'll get used to it little by little. I was the same. If only time would slow down and afford me the chance. Yeah. Yeah, things are kind of pressing right now. <laughs> And in the base game, when you meet his spirit in, what is it, chapter 7, I think, he admits that he never succeeded and that he wasn't able to properly come to terms with being Mithra's driver. He wasn't able to control her power. In the end, he, he failed. So we already know that's how this is going to turn out. Classical Greek tragedy. <clears throat> we should be able to take a ship's head straight to a letter from here. That's great, but why's it got to be a passenger ship? Can't we travel with the Emperor? What's wrong with making a grand entrance? I'm awfully sorry. Though I may be traveling with Lord Adam, I'm afraid my actions aren't officially sanctioned. His Majesty's ship is a war vessel. It would take considerable negotiation before Torna granted us docking privileges. Figures. That attitude of yours is what gives us so much trouble. You just don't stop to think about the consequences, do you? Honestly, I give up. Behold the mighty Aegis, wielder of unthinkable power and unparalleled foolishness. Hey, would you get off my case? I didn't even say anything. Knock it off, you two. At the very least, we've got a nice leisurely cruise ahead of us, and that's something. Excited to meet the Resistance, people who all look up to Adam. Well then, if we're all agreed, let's get on with it and talk to the captain, shall we? So I guess we're taking that dinky little ship back there again. Okay. Hmm. Eh, I used Hugo only the one time. And that was for a side quest battle. <sighs> well, let's stick with what we've got for now and see what happens. Let's, see, it let's me change parties with, what was it, the R button? 
Oh no, the Z I was completely wrong. It's the ZL button. Okay, so if I go like that, and then I push left on the D-pad, I can switch it up completely. Alright, I think we are finally done in Gormod. Time to talk to the Captain's Apprentice again. Where's that big blue bird going? There, perhaps? Oh, there's another treasure trove. Ah! No, let's not get distracted. You again, eh? It's nice to have regulars. You're going to Aleta and Torna this time? You paid me enough before, so this trip's on me. Ready to go? Yeah, let's get out of here. Here we go. I'll head for Aleta as fast as I can. Yeah, let's get out to Aletta. If I want to come back and get that treasure trove, I can just skip travel here. Loading, loading, loading. Kingdom of Torna. I mean, technically, isn't that where we were at the beginning? Torna Harbor. Militia service woman Kalina. Stacked wooden boxes. Hmm. Don't have to tell me twice. Witness my irresistible force. Okay. My hopes are high for this one. Oh ho! Emesis chip, Nalpon doll, and lots of money, and of course the pouch expansion. Well, who to give that to? Hmm. Uh, Adam. Let's give it to Adam. Okay. Expand. All right. I will hold off on actually giving him another pouch item. How the heck did Mithra get up there? Magic, I guess. I've heard that the deeper the bond between driver and blade, the better they'll do in battle. That's because the bond has an impact on the blade's strength. I've also heard that just being physically close to one another can help foster that bond. I'm not a driver, so I don't know any more than what I've heard. Sounds nice, though. Having someone you can communicate with so well, I have to say I'm envious. Ah, and here we go on this. Is that supposed to be a dust mask? Okay, Roly Poly has another side quest for us, does he? Crackerjack Merc. We haven't finished Korganis yet, though. And here we have a gather point. 
I've always wanted to I'm do this. I'm something of an expert. Curious rotting leaves. Uh, oh, Bridget just jumped to her death. seems to have noticed. Ahoy! Miss me! Lord Adam. Lord Adam's finally come back. Welcome back, Lord Adam. Wow. Someone's got himself a bit of a fan club. Maybe that's why he decided to take action. To wield that love for good. By the way, Adam gave the order to meet in this place specifically, right? What's so special about it? This land is Adam's domain. Look, that over there is his manor. Ah, oh, certainly fit for a prince. Eh, it could stand to be bigger. And, you know, not in the middle of nowhere. Are you completely incapable of saying something without sarcasm? Sorry, it's just how I am. I don't really think I can help it. She's right, though. It is quite away from the capital. He is far too esteemed for his own good. Fourth in line to the throne, but loved by soldiers and citizens. His relations with High Prince Zedar are quite strained as a result, I hear. Really? I suppose even princes have problems. For a place out in the back of beyond, it doesn't seem all that bad. Look at all this lush scenery. I think I could live here quite comfortably. It warms my heart to hear you say so. I like it here too. I've been thinking about dabbling in a bit of architecture here someday. We'd better finish Malice off quickly then, so you can run off and live life as a hermit. That's the plan. Will we be staying here a while? Long enough to gather some intel on Malos, plus there are a few things I need to sort out with the Resistance. That suits me just fine. If you don't mind, I think I'll go for a stroll. Understood. Thank you all for acting in the interest of His Majesty. Where are you off to, Hugo? A regiment of ours has been tasked with disarming remnant Sian troops at a nearby archipelago. I need to remember how to spell that. C-O-E-I-A. My presence there has been requested so that I may inspire them. And inspired they will be. It would take a stone heart not to be touched by your selfless courage. It goes both ways, Adam. I also wish to express my gratitude for their unceasing efforts. Aegean shall act as my bodyguard. Bridget, I'd like you to remain here as a point of contact. Don't go running off without me once you've discovered Malice's whereabouts now. What, and face him without his majesty's prodigious talents? It would be fooled hardy in the utmost. I'm honored that you think so. All right, I will return shortly. Hold the fort for us, Bridget. I'll be just fine as long as you take care of his majesty, Aegean. Back into that little rat trap they go. The emperor of a massive nation and his faithful blade bodyguard. Right then, let's see if we can't iron out a few of these problems the Resistance has been having. Is that something we can help with? Jin and I would be more than happy to help, right Jin? Of course, if that's what you want. Thanks, both of you. You'll be a big help. The biggest problem we got right now is a lack of provisions. What, food provisions? I'm afraid so. Like you said, this place is cut off from the rest of the world. It's no wonder they're so hard up. I think making sure our army doesn't die of starvation is more important than finding Malice right now, don't you? Yes, very wise. History has proven many a time that the victors are those who have been fed and rested well. Just so. We should start by talking to Brogen. Brogen? Brogen? Brogun? Whatever. As he's the one who divvies up the rations, shall we? Okay. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. We'll set that one as active, since it's the main story quest. 
And party formation has changed. Team Hugo is down to just Bridget now. Hmm. I am going to switch Team Adam to the front. And let's see here. Yeah, we'll switch Team Adam to the front, and I think I will put Hayes in front for Team Laura. Okay, the Aletta Militia Garrison. And change order. Oh, no. Wrong type of change order. Uh, hmm. Blade switch, there we go. Gotcha. Alright. While we're here, what are we doing for the arts? Uh, got a decent amount of WP. Let's improve her break art. It'll shorten the recharge slightly. It takes time and effort to get this good. And his launch art, sure. I can keep on going, especially at this rate. I should do for the time being. And now, sixteen hundred skill points. Okay. Hmm. First strike or arts chain? They're both really nice. Let's go with arts chain. What? Oh. Can I afford that then? Standing on the shoulders of Titan. Barely, yes. Okay. Work hard enough, and our efforts won't be in vain. All right. And now... Miles ahead. Where's the... Oh, yeah, there it is. Miles ahead. Um, where's the arts chain one? That one, okay. Boy, it's fifteen hundred for her. It was only twelve fifty for Adam. Hmm. I can just barely not afford it. Okay, let's wait until we can afford it then. Let's see. Apprentice Vambraces. Huh. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, I can switch rigid vest for an infantry vest. Hugo's not here right now. But I think Bridget still benefits from that, so let's leave it equipped. Give her that one. really all that great. Guess I'll give him the lesser infantry vest. Okay, that'll do. Roy Pulley. 
Cracker Jack Murph. Nice of friends to show up. Roly polies just think of new tests we want to put friends to. Last time we do break and topple and then call that good enough. Hopefully friends remember. Well, it's no longer good enough. This time we have launch and smash. Launch will lift enemy off ground and smash will smash back down, as name implies. Great power moves. The sequence of break, topple, launch, and finally smash is ultimate form of driver combo. For this test, Roly Poly want friends to do whole whammy to um, to any for this test, Roly Poly want friends to do whole whammy to any at all enemy, anytime, anywhere, three times over. Next job is huge, He's big, huge, enormous, gargantuan. Must be able to do driver combo with eyes closed. Oh, and of course, must come to Roly Poly to let know when test is done once test is done, or maybe is obvious. Well then, Roly Poly wait with hopes held high. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Okay. So there's Brogen. Before we talk to him, let's check out the campsite. Okay, I figured there'd be a chat. Hey, Adam. How come we're low on food? Like, aren't you the boss around here? Couldn't you just tax him a little? I hate to see you in power. Life is hard here, Mithra. Alette is in the hinterlands of Torna. The population is small compared to the capital. With the resistance forces coming in such large numbers, resources are strained. There's no preparing for it. I can't really force them to provide for us, and anyhow, taking care of ourselves is the right thing to do. Makes sense, I guess. A little. We'll all need to start doing our bit from now on to try to ease the food supply problem. That's right. It's the only way we'll be able to manage. Hey, Master Adam. If there's anything you need me and Mick to do, then just holler and we'll do it. I mean, it's not right for us to just freeload. We want to earn our keep. Ha. Ha ha. Thanks, everyone. I think we're going to be just fine. Alright. Any particular crafting? Don't spoil your appetite before I'm done. Yeah, not particularly. My cooking will make you howl for more. And that's a promise. Let's see. What aroma do I desire? Well, let's make one of each. There. A cologne to covet. I was so self-absorbed, I almost burnt it to cinders. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all we can really Let's do Let's get for down now. to business. All right, let's go talk to Brojan. Unless there's someone. Else. Oh, there's a. There's some stores here. Hmm. Got some armus. It's an X. I think those are X. Those kind of bluish things over there. Royalty or not, rules are rules. Either pay up or go away. <laughs> That's blunt. Okay, I already have everything that she's got. One of these and two of these. Alright, no paying up. We'll go away instead. Prince Adam, everyone, can I interest you in my wares? Champion belt. Better strength boost. Better ether boost. Dark orb. Increases damage dealt when an ally is incapacitated. Yeah, again, I don't like basing my strategy around having allies be dead. <laughs> I prefer everyone to be up and fighting. Colorful feather. Start each battle with aggro. Minor effect. Meh. Affection ring increases the HP restored when reviving a teammate by 35%. Yeah. Harvest necklace improves the effects of healing arts by 10%. Eye patch as 20% to damage ratio after canceling an auto attack. That's a 
decent effect. But let's see what we can actually find. Ah. One of those big old things. That's much more brightly colored than the ones in the base game. The ones in the base game are all just black and gray. Flying Fortress Desmore. Oh, that explains why it's so colorful. It's a unique monster. Uh, looks like there's no one else out here to talk to. Oh, not upon drugs. Adam's devotee, Nowell. Ah, my favorite. Blade combo boost, humanoid hunter. Ah, my favorite. Ah, my favorite. Ah. You're mine now. Affinity max accuracy. Yeah. Affinity max attack is better, in my opinion. Hi everyone, welcome to the militia camp. Here people from all different countries and social standings live together under one roof. Figuratively. We live in tents. It was all Lord Adam's idea. At first we were separated based on homeland, but that didn't work out very well. There were some rough patches when we adopted Lord Adam's plan, but he helped us resolve our differences. Now we care more about who snores at night than who's from where. I'm sure Lord Adam knew we'd get along like this. I really admire him for being so forward-thinking, he says to Lord Adam himself. <laughs> Licking those boots. Wow. Elite ad lover adventurer Nalsas. Big dreamer Dolala. Question for you drivers. Do you understand your skills? Each driver have different focus, right? So skills to remember are different for each person. Good thing is, once skill is learned, it never gets forgotten. No need for Dizzy Lo Dolala to worry about forgetting. I've spoken to Nal Saz, haven't I? Ah, after coming up with this new special, and me being a pro adventurer and all. Oh, just the band of adventurers I was hoping to meet. Do you fancy performing the Rose and Bloom with me now? Say what? You don't know the Rose and Bloom? Where have you been living? It's a combo made of specials. If you chain specials together, these things called element orbs will appear. They're good to use if you know how. But even I'd get tired of doing special moves one after the other, so I've been looking for someone to help me out. You'd be a good fit, but you might end up cramping my style. Sorry, but maybe doing the Rose and Bloom with you can wait until another time. You say so. More Nopon drugs. Wow. Adam, what is wrong with you? Ah, my favorite. Ah. Letting this stuff happen. And ah, my favorite. Ah. This is your manner in your domain, and you're just letting Nopon drop their drugs everywhere. Shame. What do we got here? Okay. We're in Torna now. They don't want too many Ardenians, blah, blah, blah. I missed the rest of that. When we set out on a campaign like this, there's no telling when we'll be able to return to the motherland. So soldiers usually aren't thrilled to be assigned to such missions, but McNeth from my squad, he's a different story. He's usually... He's unusually... Pure of heart for a soldier, very eager to make himself useful to the Emperor. Though he hasn't demonstrated any exceptional skill, I see promise in him. He's one to keep an eye on, I'd say. We don't want too many Ardenian soldiers roaming about. Let's just stick to our stations. Okay, I saw treasure trove. Blast it. Okay, let's try that again. I saw treasure trove. Yeah, there we go. Ah. My favorite part. Night vision. Okay. That increases accuracy at night, I believe. Ah. Okay, 
there's nothing up there. Oh, a machine. This takes me back. High vis wire. I needed some of that. I think that's for one of Laura's charms. Chief Orion Overseer Augustus. Hey, you lot, have you ever found a secret area? There's not something you can just stumble across, but if you put in the work, they're usually something special. Sometimes there'll be incredible views, other times they might be ancient ruins or historical monuments. Depends. Secret areas are pretty great. I've never seen one myself like. Always wanted to. Imagine it. Bet if you could dine out on a bet you could dine out on a story like that for a lifetime. Just think how many drinks people would buy you to hear it. <laughs> That's an interesting thing to be concerned about. Yeah. I guess I can see where he's coming from though. Ah, my fate. There's a clear structure to this lock. Oh, Slow and steady. Okay. She has lock picking level two, but I haven't opened her affinity chart to actually activate that node yet. I love to work out how things tick. Yeah, she didn't have lockpicking in the base game. Defeat a Slayed X on Rackham Moor in Torna. Ah. Pretty sure I saw some X's out there. Helping incapacitated ally. Still haven't done that. Receive a certain a total amount a certain amount of total damage. Okay, now. Ah, my faith. There's a clear structure to this lock. Slow and steady. Iron chips and a camo hood. Camo hood re increases aggro reduction. Eh. Iron chips. Well, look at that. Almost a 100 increase in auto attack. And only a very slight dip to her critical rate. Huh. That would be a decent one for Bridget, too. Wow, Jin, he's... I can't not put that on Jin. I mean, that's just too good. Likewise, Mithra. And, yeah, Bridget also. Yep, that'll do. Okay, Brojan. What have you got for us? You're eating. Brojan, is that you? Whoa! Lord Adam! Please, a moment. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. Hey, he's turning blue. Throat jammed. Here, drink some water. Ah. Phew. Looks like your color's returned. I'm afraid I have no idea who you are, but I owe you my life. Ah, uh, I think you're exaggerating a little there. Not at all. I'd give you something by way of thanks, but I'm afraid it's a difficult time for me right now. Rojan, have you been snitching food on the sly again? Lord Adam, uh, no. Perish the very thought. So what were you doing here then? Because whatever it was, it sounded awfully like someone guzzling to me. Prince, I was disposing of spoiled food, your highness. You mean you were scarfing down rotten food? That can't be good for your health. 
Thank you kindly for your concern, but I am fortunate to have a naturally robust gut. I couldn't risk giving this inferior stuff to the resistance fighters. That sort of makes sense. Probably also a lie, but still. <laughs> you could say I was maximizing efficiency by combining food quality management with disposal. And if I can quieten the rum rumblings of my stomach at the same time, well, that's a tertiary bonus. Yes, Brogen, I get it. You'll stop at nothing to make things more efficient. As we've just seen, you'll even risk your own life for it. Could you give me a report on the state of our food supplies? Of course. Well, since your highness's recent return, we've been catering for a few more soldiers. We've organized food gathering squads and dispatched them here and there, but sadly manpower does not suffice. I suppose I bear some responsibility for that. Yeah, we should help out with the catering too. Indeed, we must do what we can to improve the situation until His Majesty returns. Thank you all, you're too kind. Here's the list of our most needed foodstuffs. Two grim dark crabs, four portions of ferrous beast meat. We definitely have that second one. Two large lactonuts, which we don't have. And six measures of weeping flour. That seems easily doable. He should probably get more than... We should probably get one more of each than he asked for. He's pilfer prone. I guess we have everything we need to start searching. Okay. So Brogen is now on our list. Shifty Quartermaster Brogen. Alright, feeding an army. Okay, we do have the Grimdark Crabs. Oops. So we have the Grimdark Crabs. We have the Ferris Beast Meat. We don't have the Lactonuts. The Grasslands of Torna for those. And the Grasslands of Torna for the Weeping Flower. Okay, I'm guessing Grasslands of Torna mean that place out there. What do we got here? This is minerals. What do we got here? Adam, do not repeat what I say. That's very rude. Um, okay. Oh, and the machine's already. This takes me back. Well, looks like we have some gathering to do out there. But that's going to be in the next episode because we've reached the end of this one. Ah, finally made it to the next area after Gormont. I was wondering how <laughs> much longer it was going to take. Ah, but we finally made it. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. In the next episode, we're going to go out into the grasslands here and search for those items. And... I want a few extra lacto nuts if I can get them, because I need those for crafting. Probably weeping flour also now that I think of it, but at any rate, we have to go search for stuff. So that's going to be at least what we start with in the next episode. See you then.